Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be discussing about the boost converter or a step up converter and observe the output waveforms. So keep watching this video. Previously I have done the step down converter and today I will be discussing about the boost converter which is a part of a DC DC converter in which the DC voltages are stepped up to a desired level. Here also we are using the high frequency switching of semiconductor devices like MOSFET or IGBT. These type of converters are used in regulated DC power supplies and also they are used in regenerative braking of DC motors. So at first starts with the design and after that I will show you how to calculate the inductor and the capacitor for the boost operation. So let's start.
So our design part is completed. Now we have to give the appropriate value of the inductor capacitor and the due to ratio and the switching frequency. So just have a look on the assumption which I am using for the calculation of inductor and the capacitor. If you insert the value of inductor and capacitor without calculating step by step, you might not get the appropriate waveforms. So it is better to start with assumption and then calculate the inductor and the capacitor value. Check the waveforms. This is the duty cycle of the switch which we get from the calculation and the value is 2 by 3 or 0 0.667 and the corresponding switching pulses which is given to the switch. So come to the output part. So you can observe that our output voltage is near about 14 volt but we assume the output voltage is 15 volt. So you can easily understand that the difference between the calculated value and the actual value. So to reduce this error, the control so you have to design a control circuit. And also in case of output current, you can observe that the difference between the actual value and the practical value. And now come to the inductor current and the capacitor current waveform. So you can observe that um, our delta L is near about 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 ampere which we assumed as 0.89 ampere and here also you can see the capacitor current waveform and the lower limit is minus 0.5 ampere which is accurate to the assumption value of the I0 and if you don't put the appropriate capacitor and inductor value the converter operation will move to the discontinuous conduction mode so we have to keep in mind the calculation of the inductor and capacitor is very much important or a design of a boost converter. If you like this video, just hit the like button. And for latest video update, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.